Hi Capricorn, welcome to your singles reading for the month of April. This is Mary, this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Capricorn, I decided to bring this series back. Um, if you had gone over to my community section of my channel and voted in the polls I had up, I asked viewers to vote for the readings they would most like to see per month. And this was part of the choice. So singles readings are coming back along with the spirit messages. If you have not seen those yet, those are all out for April. So five readings total per month, uh, love connection reading, uh, singles reading here, spirit messages, a general reading, and then a bonus reading where we take a little look at love and life and then advice. So Capricorn, this is intended for singles who don't have anybody. Um, they're totally single right now. They're wondering when is new love going to come in? When is my next person going to come in? <coughs> Sorry. So that is my intention for this reading. So we're going to look at their energy, the incoming person, possible person coming into you. Uh, what is their energy like? What is their spirit energy like? And then what is their love energy like? And then we'll clarify that energy with the tarot. Then we'll look at um, we are in how you may meet this person. And then we'll look at possible time frame of like maybe when and then what kind of connection this will be. So I hope you like this. Give me some uh, feedback, comments, if you'd like to, on this. So this is for Capricorn singles who want to know when is new love coming, new love coming in, a new person, or a next relationship, or something like that. doesn't mean you won't date. Uh, well, right now, I mean, we're all isolated, quarantined. Who knows when we can get back out there for those singles out on the dating scene. May not be till summer. So uh, let's see what we get here. So Capricorn, everything you need to know is down below in the description box, as well as the pinned top comment, how to reach out for personal reading, decks I'm using, and links to purchase them if you choose to. Your playlist are below, uh, below Love in General, if you'd like to go back. Um, I consider my readings timeless. Uh, social media links, if you'd like to tip, donate, send a gift, that info is below. And if you're not comfortable exchanging energy through PayPal, during the, uh, during the premiere only, Super Chat is open and available for energy exchanges if you wish to uh, do so. And my office chair is deciding to sink down. So if you hear clunk, clunk, that's just my chair. So anyway, I need to get a new one. All right. Capricorn, single spirit, please. What is the energy like of this possible incoming person? A Capricorn singles, new love, new person, new possible new relationship for Capricorn. Oh, didn't even see that fall. So what do we have here? So we have magician in the mirror. 53 is eight is about taking action, travel, communication. So somebody here that is not afraid to manifest, to take action, to communicate. So maybe somebody here that may like to travel also. Maybe they even maybe like to do magic as a little uh, hobby also. All right. So, and they may dabble into the spiritual world also. <clears throat> okay, so let's see what their spirit is like. What is their spirit energy like for... Capricorn singles, incoming love, new person, new love for Capricorn spirit, please. What is the spirit energy of this possible new person coming into Capricorn? Take that one. Let's see what we have. We have memories. Your memories are like diamonds in the treasure chest of your spirit. More and more memories are arising within you. Remember the happier moments with your loved ones who are here in the spirit world. For neither time nor distance can stop the energy of love that you have for one another. So this is a person who I feel like loves to make new memories, looks back finally on old memories. <coughs> they never forget those precious memories either. So that's a good energy. So let's see, I feel like somebody who, okay, I have to fix this chair. All right, sorry about that. Okay, <laughs> all right. So as I was saying, I feel like this is someone who loves to create new memories, isn't afraid to create new memories, looks back fondly of 
memories of the past. All right, so let's see. Let's look at their love energy for Capricorn Spirit, please. Singles. Okay. What is the love energy like of this person? So we have Gaia, wisdom, knowledge, spiritual understanding. And we have five, which is about change. So, and I had felt that uh, with this first card of Magician in the Mirror, that maybe they dabbled into the spiritual world also. So Gaia here is all about like Mother Earth, um, grounding energy, wisdom, knowledge, spiritual understanding. So this could be somebody that's very well grounded. Um, they have a lot of wisdom and knowledge. They're wise. And someone who has an understanding of the spiritual world and also um, may dabble in the spiritual world. And also I'm getting with this memories for some reason. Um, it could be, you know, uh, in their lineage that maybe there's been a lot of spiritual energy in their generations. And they have like memories of maybe even of like past lives and that kind of energy also. Or... Um, just like knowledge that's been passed down from generation to generation through the spirit world. All right, so let's see Capricorn. Let's clarify this energy for you, Capricorn. This could end up being, I just heard the message, a very spiritual connection. All right, so... <clears throat> I'm seeing the yellow here, you know, it's all about like the sun energy, happiness, success, victory, balance, healing, um, happy home and family. I mean, all that good energy. It's also the solar plexus. So being true to who they are, their soul mission, their soul purpose. All right. And my candle went out. So... Uh. like a new one cap sorry I didn't notice that that was out before I started but I like to have all my candles lit okay so we have the five of cups and the ten of cups here so the five cups can be about sadness and heart of some kind and then we have the ten of cups which is happiness and joy and fulfillment in every single way so a lot of water energy here so there could be somebody who's very in tune with their emotions, their feelings. They're not afraid to feel all their emotions and feelings when they're sad, when they're hurt, when they're lonely, um, when they feel lost. They're not afraid to feel it, express it, purge it. They also, you know, want this Ten of Cups energy also of, you know, happiness and joy and fulfillment with their soulmate in every single way. And there's the sun and I had felt that energy. King of Swords air energy coming through, so they could be Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. <coughs> I feel like somebody who is very clear-minded, um, has a lot of clarity, very open and honest also, and they may not be afraid to cut out, cut out energies out of their life that don't serve them, not afraid to stand up for themselves. They could do something uh, where they communicate for a living where they have to publicly speak or just speak in general. They could be a lawyer, they could be a doctor, or something like that. All right, so what else? What else for this energy? The Fool. So I had felt that, and with the uh, Magician in the Mirror, you know, the Magician is comes right after the Fool. <clears throat> so I feel like this is someone who is not afraid to take leap of faith, to try something new, that kind of energy, jump right in, both feet. All right, so they may be a fool for love. I just got that energy, a fool for love. <clears throat> That's too many. Let's take this one. Page of Pentacles, so or they could be an Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So this is a very solid. Uh, very solid energy, stable, secure, grounded energy. You know, this is often, you know, called the uh, off, you know, offer card of some kind. I feel like this is not going to be somebody afraid to 
jump right in and make an offer like right away like if they like see you and they like you <clears throat> could be um at a bar or something like that to say hey you know you want to go on a date you know you want to go for a walk in the park you, you know offer something here and i think they will be sincere i think you could trust them with that page of pentacles energy all right so with the king of swords right in the middle of the there uh somebody's very smart use has to use their mind like i said they could be in the law uh field or medical field they even could be in the military or something like that law enforcement all right so oops. let's see let's see like where and how you may meet this person for capricorn singles please thank you so much so we have the ten of swords hmm. okay the five of pentacles All right, let's get a few more. I'm getting, well, okay. The Ace of Swords. I hate to say this, but I'm getting energy of like, there may be some sort of like public disruption. Like you may be out in public or you may be in a building where there's some sort of chaos or disruption or something like that, where people actually have to like, get out of the building or something like that <laughs> yeah because you see like i mean there could even be a fire somewhere i mean i hate to say that but it could be uh something where people are running out of a building or running away from the situation wow okay so let's get one more let's get one more wow and the ace of cups yeah, because you see all the water here, and you see, like, electrical here in the sparks. Wow. So there may, they could actually, you know, work for the fire department. There could be a firefighter also. And it may not be, it may be something little, it may not be, like, the, the building's burning down. It could be just, you know, and it could be, you know, <clears throat> not may not even be, like, a real... A fire or something like that you know maybe someone accidentally pulls the alarm or you know or there's just like a little bit of like a little tiny spark of something and you know people have to get out of the building because i see i just see all this fire like fire and water so and people running so that may be they may come to you wherever you are you know and they could be actually uh like the fire chief or a firefighter or something like that, or a policeman or an EMT or something like that. Wow. Wow. What <laughs> is your brain to be getting in love and truth and clarity? So it's like maybe love at first sight. Wow. Okay. So let's see here. Uh, for you, Capricorn, like, let's get like a, see if we can get a time frame like when this could happen. I know everyone's in isolation. Nobody's working right now. So let's see. When, when for Capricorn singles. So we got sword energy, which is winter. Okay, what else? The moon energy. Could be at nighttime. Something here could happen. It could be at nighttime in the winter. Um, okay, I don't feel. So we have the two of pentacle energy here, which is fall. So I'm feeling fall probably into winter, maybe at nighttime. Or, you know, when it gets starts to get dark. May still be a little bit light out, but a little kind of dark where, you know, only can see by the moonlight. And I'm feeling fall, fall into winter. And I'm seeing like the electric here again. And like the smoky energy here. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> I don't think it's going to be anything major. But um, that's what I see happening here. Wow. I don't want to scare anybody, but that's what I see. <clears throat> so I'm feeling fall, sometimes fall into winter. All right. So... 
and who knows? I mean, we may not be returning back to work for uh, some of us till that time. So, <clears throat> okay. So what kind of connection will this be? What kind of connection will this be for you, to, uh, Capricorn, if you connect with this person? Please, Spirit, what kind of connection will this be? We have the Four of Swords, so that's rest, rejuvenation, relaxation, the Hermit energy. So again, two energies of being like solitary, alone, uh, doing inner journey, soul searching work, finding you know your path, your way, your light. All right, so what else? Let's get one more. <clears throat> and the High Priestess, so. Hmm. So I feel like it could be that you'd both, you know, because you have both energies here of going, you know, solitude, but it could be, you know, just getting, wanting to just spend time together, <clears throat> like no one else, just the two of you. But this is about listening to your intuition, your higher knowing. You may not tell anybody about this connection for some reason. You may kind of keep it like a secret, not tell anyone. Maybe you may secretly meet up for some reason. I don't know why. <clears throat> and not really tell anybody. So why is that energy here? Why is that energy here for Capricorn? Why is this energy here for this future connection for Capricorn? Or you could possibly make each other, you know, do a lot of deep, soul searching work you know and maybe you just bring that out in one another like your intuition towards one another or they bring out your intuition you know uh you bring out their intuition kind of energy and do like deep healing and soul searching but i feel like <clears throat> not really telling anyone with the high priestess energy here so why is this energy here the empress so no value and worth here this is divine feminine energy in the two of wands so you could be secretly make making like plans decisions and this could happen kind of quickly seeing a lot of value and worth in this connection it's a breath of something new with the empress energy and the two of wands is always like to me making is two unity making plans decisions for the future um <clears throat> choosing path you want to go down and but maybe just kind of keeping it to yourself not really telling anyone about this page of swords so very open honest truthful communication between the two of you um maybe doing some sort of research online though we do have single energy here with the nine of pentacles so being secure abundant so i think you will give each other you know your in both you know independence and freedom to do what you want but very honest communication here we didn't have any like cups here, but let's see if we can get one more. <clears throat> well, now we have the seven of cups, which is about choices, options, decisions, kind of energy, confusion. Hmm. So why is that here? Ace of Pentacles, there's your brand new beginning, stability, growth for the long term. So I feel like this is the offer. So somebody may offer here a long-term commitment, like right away, um, kind of energy. Somebody may be a little confused about that, but I do see two people coming together here. Here's a long-term lifetime partner here with the Ace of Pentacles, the stable that's grounded. And then we have the hangman. So feeling, you know, getting new perspectives, enlightenment on this situation, maybe taking a little break. I mean, that have the Hermit and the Four of Swords and maybe taking a little break from one another, deciding what you want kind of energy. So now we have the King of Wands. So we have Fire, Leo, Sag, Aries. Five of Swords can be uh, getting ahead at all costs or getting what you want no matter what. Very fiery, passionate energy here. Then finally choosing, going in the direction here of soulmate love with the lovers energy. So I definitely see here, there may be a pause and a break, you know, maybe getting serious, like really quick. 
and then deciding to kind of take a break for a while, but then I see lovers coming together and then moving forward together in a more peaceful, harmonious, balanced place. So, you know, it may happen quickly, and then you may take a break. Okay, let's take a break, see what you want moving forward. And then ultimately, here's the Ace of Pentacles. Could lead to commitment, long-term commitment or marriage down the road, because we do have three Aces. We have the Ace of Cups, Ace of Swords, and the Ace of Pentacles. Wow. So... I think here, again, fool for love. So, yep, I think being a fool for love here and having a lifetime partner. Wow, Capricorn. Okay, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And if you do like my channel, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment. Hit the bell. You won't miss out. Five readings a month. If you do, thank you. So best of luck. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, to always, always shine your light.